If you like time loop films and Christmas films, then you might like Christmas all over again. I don't think this is going to be a film for everybody, and I'm not saying it's a perfect film, but I do particularly like Groundhog Day type films, and I love Christmas films, so it did appeal to me. This was released in 2016. It's directed by Christy Carlson Romano, and it stars Sean Ryan Fox as Eddie. And what I will say about Eddie is I I didn't really like him. I don't know if I liked him ever. Obviously, with the purpose of the time loop, he has to learn about changing his behaviours and attitudes, which I'll talk more about in a moment. And over time, he did become more likeable, but I don't think we ever reached a point where I personally found him likeable. The performance is very good, and I think he's a very well-written character, but I personally never grew to like him. But nevertheless, I did like the film. Now, I have to say, I actually don't blame him for his attitude. He had a negative way of expressing his opinions, but he's very disgruntled because his brother is getting married on Christmas Day. And I think Christmas Day weddings are exceptionally selfish because everybody has their own Christmas traditions. For many people, it's the only time of year they get to come together with their family. And that might not include family who are invited to the wedding. So to be forced to go to a wedding on Christmas Day, I just think it's incredibly selfish. So I understand why he had a bit of an attitude about him about this. And he is not getting his presents until the next day. His father, he's a teenager, I don't know if I pointed that out, but his father has said, you can get your presents on the 26th because today, Christmas Day, is all about your brother and your brother's wedding. And he kind of, Eddie kind of wishes that he could just have his Christmas back. And that wish is granted, but his Christmas Day that year is still the same. It's still his brother's wedding. And he wakes up every morning on Christmas Day and he has to get ready for his brother's wedding, and it's all about the events that unfold on that day, and he has to try and learn to look at things differently, and honestly, it's fine. It's not bad. I don't know if it's going to be for everybody. In fact, I don't think it will be, but because I like time loop films, and I think they handled it very well, I rather enjoyed it. There are some bits that feel like a little bit too much repetition. You are always going to get some repetition with time loop films, but that being said, I feel like the pacing was really great because the more we got the repetition, the quicker each day was. And we seemed to get through each time loop much more quickly. So I think the pacing definitely helped to keep things moving when there was an increased amount of repetition. As I said, I don't think Eddie is a likable character and I appreciate the journey he is going on, but I, I don't care for him as an individual. But thankfully, the actual time loop aspect worked really well for me. And the events are are interesting enough. But still, I think Christmas Day weddings are exceptionally selfish. So I, I kind of got behind the character, even if I didn't love the way he expressed his opinions. So there are things in this that appealed to me specifically and things that I could um, completely get behind and understand. If you like time loop films, I'd say it's worth checking out. If you are not bothered about time loop films, then it might not be for you because it doesn't have too many other elements that are worth checking out. We do have a, a good supporting cast. We have Joey Lawrence, who plays the owner of the Magic Shoe Shop. Why there'd be a shoe shop on Christmas Day, it's a bit of a, a random thing. There are several things in this that don't feel like they would happen on Christmas Day. And if somebody wants to argue that that makes it a, a, a less good film, I'd be completely okay with that. But at the same time, these are things that I personally was okay with overlooking to enjoy the main narrative. So it's definitely not going to be for everybody. But personally, I thought Christmas All Over Again was not a bad film. I wouldn't watch it again. Once is enough. But I didn't mind watching it. <laughs> 